ऑनरेबल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी ऑनरेबल द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया श्री संजीव खन्ना जी ऑनरेबल मिस्टर जस्टिस बी आर गवई ऑनरेबल मिस्टर जस्टिस सूर्यकांत जजेज सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया ऑनरेबल मिस्टर अर्जुन राम मेघवाल जी द मिनिस्टर फॉर लॉ एंड जस्टिस द अटॉर्नी जनरल फॉर इंडिया द सॉलिसिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया मिस्टर कपिल सिब्बल प्रेसिडेंट एस सी बी ए ऑनरेबल जजेज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट द हाई कोर्ट्स लेडीज जेंटलमैन एंड द मीडिया पीपल एवरीबडी नोज दैट इंडियाज रिटर्न कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज लॉन्गेस्ट बट एवर लास्टिंग Pakistan and Bangladesh had also crafted written constitutions but they were scattered with civil and military dictatorship our country is the fastest growing economy third in the world today the reason behind is the smooth implementation of our constitution the hard work dedication and devotion of our the chief guest honorable narendra modi ji friends in march 1940 before the british left our country the muslim league passed a resolution in lahore demanding that muslim dominated areas should be separated the indian independence act 1947 by british government declared two dominances dominion of india and dominion of pakistan today our constitution has become paradise of a few politicians those who are attacking the government and who are trying to mislead the people by frequently threatening that the constitution will be changed by modi ji's government must remember the past and as lawyers it is our duty to make the younger generation aware of the past about the 42nd amendment done during the congress regime the power of judicial review of supreme court and high courts were curtailed the state's autonomy was reduced important fundamental rights were taken away friends it is ridiculous that those people and parties who had almost scrapped the constitution while in power are telling that samvidhan aur arakshan khatre mein hai as prime minister atal bihari bajpayee ji said reservation has to continue even in promotions the scs and sts got the benefit in promotions also by relaxation in qualifying marks our modi ji also asserts all which reservation will continue thanks to the people of the country people of haryana and maharashtra that they understood the reality and reposed their faith in modi ji the right to education was made a fundamental right under article 21a during the regime of atal bihari bajpayee ji in the year 2002 long back dr b r ambedkar ji had the idea of making the constitution a constructive and live document but those ideas could be truly implemented only after 2014 under the able leadership of our beloved narendra modi ji citizenship amendment act jammu and kashmir reorganization act abolition of article 370 laws prohibiting triple talaq 10% reservation for economically weaker sections reservation for women in legislature all have emanated from the concept of fundamental rights under part 3 of our constitution friends the words of harry wolf like old clocks our judicial institutions need to be oiled wound up and set to true time the frequent and flagrant misuse of some of the provisions of part 3 of our constitution is very shameful and dangerous some of the politicians are in the habit of misusing the right of freedom of speech and expression the mockery of handbook of our constitution for vote politics misleading the people in the name of reservation are glaring examples of such misuse sir the supreme court and the high courts are not supposed to shut their eyes when the handful of politicians sitting in power are attempting to change the demography of their territory the illegal infiltration forcible conversion of people's faith in their states like west bengal and jharkhand should not be protected in the garb of article 25 <laughs> conversion of people in tribal areas and agrarian 
uh, inhabitants is happening daily and the persons sitting in power in those states are encouraging such malpractices just for whole politics. Sir, judiciary will have to take suomoto cognizance of such unfortunate events. Kendra Sarkar or Hamare Modi ji prayas kar rahe hain, lekin isme Supreme Court ke sakriya sahayog ki avashakta hogi. Our constitution has made the Supreme Court and the High Courts very strong and judiciary is not supposed to get scared of any politics. If the Supreme Court keeps silence, the future of the nation would be at stake and the sinister game to divide our country may succeed. So, our judiciary will have to work in tandem with Modi ji and the central government. Sir, the proposed amendments in work board are fully in tune with constitutional provisions of right to equality. We stand with the government on this issue also. I, as the chairman of Bar Council of India, strongly stand for the independence of judiciary. Lekin janab, mein yeh nahi kata ki aap sarkar ke mudabik faisle karein. Aap janta ke liye janta ke hit mein faisle karein. Janta ne yadhi apna viswas maanne, Modi ji maanne, Amit Shah ji mein abhyakt kiya hai. To in ki awaj in ke dwara tay ki gai nitiya, janta ke dwara tay gai maani jayengi. To nitikat maamlo mein kendra sarkar ka saath de kar, yadhi anyaay ko roka jaye, Tabhi janta ke saath nyaay hooga. Thank you and thanks to our Supreme Court, jis ne 370 hatane ke faisle ko barkarar rakha. Sambidhan mein Baba sahab ne aapko bahut taakat di hai, jis se aap desh ki aur janta ki suraksha bakhubi kar sakte hain. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Namaskar.